Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is CCG. I just wanted to come back on here because a couple days back I did a health update and um, I was telling you guys that I had started to use a CPAP machine and so I've been doing it. It's been, it was a little challenging in the beginning because I just felt like I was suffocating, putting the thing on and, and everything. So I just had to really coach myself and try to relax and just put it on and breathe. But it has to be cool because if the warmest, the room is too warm, then I start getting stopped up. I don't know what it is. Like, I'll be okay all day. I can breathe fine. But when I go to bed at night, I get so stopped up. So I just, um, my husband has like this really big fan in the room and that sucker can blow. So I turn that on and aim it on myself. So that seems to be helping. But I wanted to come on here and also let you know too, um, I had went for, because I've been having some problems with palpitations. Now, I've had this before, and it wasn't as frequent, and I was having some more lately. And so, I had went and got a stress test done, and they took pictures of my heart, and they put some type of medicine, had me to like to open up the blood vessel, and so they did all of that and I had to like, it was like a series of different tests. Thank God I didn't have to get on the treadmill, you know, but, um, I had to do it, you know, different, different things. So anyway, um, the, my cardiologist, uh, had saw something that raised his alarm and he wanted to, um, uh, discuss with me the next step. So, we were talking about it and he had mentioned to, uh, getting a heart uh, uh, catheterization against, uh, I think, angioplasty or whatever. And so, but then like he was telling me all the risks and then he was like, oh, you can also get like, um, I think it was a CAT scan or something of um, my heart, but it would take it would take a couple months to do. So anyway, so I went on and I was just kind of like stressing about it. And I'm like, Lord, I just don't know. Cause he was like telling me, you know, I could go in and I might not find nothing or I might have to put a stent in you or you have to do open heart surgery. So I'm like, well, I, I, I didn't want to not do anything about it. And it was just really bothering me. So I had to really think about it, talk to my family about it, because, you know, when it comes to certain health issues, like especially if you're really close with your family, I had to do a family. We all had to come together and talk about it because it all involves all of us, even though it's me that has to go through it. So we talked about it and I just said, okay, I'm going to just go ahead and do it. So I was kind of looking things up. You know how you go on YouTube and you look up stuff because you want to get more information, prepare yourself before you go and do it. And so like I was looking at videos and they were talking about they do it through your groin area. And I wasn't feeling that. So and then they also do it through the wrist. So I was grateful. Um, I had reached out to my doctor. I said, look. Uh, are we doing this through the wrist? I would prefer to have it through the wrist. So, and I wanted both, you know, my husband and my mother there present with me. You know, both of them are my support system, my family. And so he sent me a message back and said, well, he was going to be doing it through the wrist anyway. So that was kind of relieved by that, but still at the same time nervous. So, you know, you try to not worry and it's hard because when when it has to do with your health you want to you know it's, it's you just don't know you know and i'm i'm a christian i put my faith totally in the lord jesus christ and so like i was just saying lord i just don't need this right now 
I don't want it. I don't want it. Like you want to, it was like kicking and screaming kind of situation. Like you just didn't want to go through it. So anyway, so I went to the hospital and I had to get prepped and things um, beforehand, you know, you take your vital signs, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, they had put, uh, took me back finally and they put this like catheter through my wrist and I actually have, I don't know if you can see like the half the bandaid. I did have like a white bandage around. I kept changing the dressing and they told me, now mind you, I had this procedure this past Friday. So I can't do any heavy lifting for seven days in my right hand. And so, um, they put the catheter in and, oh yeah, and I can't lift anything more than five pounds, anything, because they say it could clot and all that, and I don't need them shenanigans either. So, yeah, so they put the catheter in and they shoot the dye up in there and take pictures of the heart and everything. And so, he took pictures and all, and it did, I was awake, y'all. I mean, I think I was in like a half twilight because like I, I did get a little sleepy while I was back there, but I was, for the most part, I was awake and I, I felt him touching me because like they strapped my hand down, you know, to the side and it was like all this equipment hanging from like the ceiling and stuff was moving around. I said, I know I ain't hallucinating. So but I think it was just the equipment moving around because it's like, taking pictures of your heart while you're laying there. And I could remember it was so cold in there. It was cold in that room. And so my cardiologist, he had like, to the right of me, he had like a thing of plastic hanging down. I guess I, I couldn't really see what was going on. But I remember him holding my arm a certain way. And he he put some, um, put the medicine in the diet, whatever. And it kind of burned going in. It like almost like embers inside of you or something. And so I was like, ooh. And um, so he did all of that. And so I think the total time that it took him about 45 minutes, you know, between the prep and all and to get started back there. And so anyway, so I go back to the recovery area and um he comes in and he says to me, uh, the test that you had, the stress test, lied. And I was like, lied, <laughs> you know. And so he said, your coronary arteries are pristine clean. So my mom said, lied. She said, oh, no. She said, I know that the Lord Jesus Christ took care of this problem. Because let me tell you something. When something goes wrong, my mother called her prayer warriors and said, I'm a prayer warrior too. I don't play with no games with the devil. I ain't got time for the devil and his shenanigans. And so, like, you know, I've been praying. My husband's been praying. My mom's been praying. And she got her, you know, we got the warriors, you know, praying. And certain ones, because you can't have everybody praying for you now. And so, um... And when we found that out, I just had to get my, get the glory all to God because I was just like, okay, I, you know, I'm trying to just not worry too much, but you know, things go through your head and everything. And I just want to say, you know, that I just give glory to God, period, for that good report. That was a great report. And so, like, I've been, like, trying to watch what I eat and things. Every now and then, I like to treat myself to something good or whatever, but, you know, like I told you, I got rid of meat out of my diet, I'm not eating it at all, and I love fish, seafood, and vegetables and fruits, so I'm eating that in my diet, I eat more vegetables than I eat fish, like I don't eat fish like every single day, but I do eat it, and I enjoy, it. I enjoy eating it, and so um, I just want to be careful what I put into my body, especially in the times that we're living in right now. I just want to be, re you know, relevant with y'all because y'all know what time it is out here. And, you know, God gives us only one body. You know, our, our body is our temple. So whatever you put in it is what you're going to get out of it. So I, I'm doing my best to try to revamp, 
you know, some ways. Like, I've never been the type of person that never ate the vegetables. Like, I love vegetables. And I could eat them all the time. And so, like, my mom never had to, like, come down on me about eating my vegetables. Because that was one of the very first things that I ate on my plate. So, um, you know, I think, you know, sometimes it's a warning. You know, may, you know, maybe God said, like, I got things for you to do. You got to be in tip-top shape. You know, you can't be all wrangled up and got all these problems. You know, I know God has an assignment for me, and I'm going to fulfill my purpose and destiny. So um, I just want to, you know, just be real, be frank with y'all. I like to keep it real and keep it 100. And, you know, just put your faith and trust in the Lord. He will never mislead you or misdirect you. And um, just make sure you take care of yourself and everything. So um, if you have any questions, comments, please, I would like to hear from you. Um, and if you had any experiences with heart problems, heart disease or whatever, let me know. Let's talk about it. You know, we about, you know, keep heart prevention. We want to make sure that we take care of ourselves. So, um, and I'm going to be doing some, just some other little things, um, new things in the channel. I like to do like various, uh, different things. I don't like to do the same thing. I like to keep, you know, everybody's attention and doing different things. Anything you want to see, um, that you're interested in, my husband and I, we like doing the tasting videos, you know, y'all get a crack out of that. Because y'all know I'm going to tell you, if I don't like it, I don't like it. So, but I enjoy entertaining you all. And I'm really um, happy to have you all, you know, on my channel, subscribed and everything. So, I probably will be doing um, soon another jewelry giveaway. But this time, something that I made personally that I would be doing a giveaway. So, stay tuned for that. And if you like this channel, you know, you know what to do, y'all. Give me a thumbs up and um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications. I hope that each and every one of you have a blessed week. Peace.